For President Donald Trump, now insult is too low. Since he became President of the United States and leader of the free world two and a bit years ago, and in fact long before that, it has been clear that this man does not have any moral objections to launching completely classless attacks against other public figures, however well-loved they may be, and even if they have done nothing wrong at all and do not deserve any kind of retribution. And Trump does not even have qualms about laying into those who are no longer with us. We saw this recently in the most horrific way imaginable, when Trump directly attacked the late First Lady Barbara Bush. He responded to comments she made to a reporter as quoted in a book titled The Matriarch, Barbara Bush and the Making of a Dynasty, in which the late Mrs. Bush is reported to have described the president as a symbol of greed, which is, of course, totally accurate. She apparently went on to comment that Trump now means greed selfishness and ugly. So sad. Dot despite the fact that those criticisms are entirely valid, as well as the quite important fact that Barbara Bush has since passed away, Trump gave an interview in which he made clear what his thoughts were in the least statesmanlike way imaginable. President Trump said he was not surprised by former First Lady Barbara Bush's attacks on him, as posthumously quoted in a new biography. I have heard that she was nasty to me, but she should be. Look what I did to her sons, he told the Washington Times in an exclusive Oval Office interview. Mr. Trump also eviscerated Mrs. Bush's second son, Jeb Bush, during the campaign for being low energy. Dot look, she's the mother of somebody that I competed against. Most people thought he Jeb Bush was going to win and he was quickly out. I hit him very hard in South Carolina, Mr. Trump said. Remember? He was supposed to win South Carolina and I won it in a landslide. I hit him so hard. That's when his brother came to make the first speech for him, Mr. Trump continued. And I said, what took you so long? This is no the behavior of a president. The American people deserve better. We need another blue wave in 2020 in response to these kinds of comments to sweep Trump out of the Oval Office and finally restore some normality to American politics.